Hello and welcome to DNA's Garage and today we're going to be installing this glow shift oil pressure. Now I have this 52 millimeter gauge holder that I got from eBay. Both of the things I got went from eBay but I want to mount them somewhere around there so I can have three gauges. Uh, but this is going to be my first one and I'm going to be going over how to wire this and how to put the pressure sensor and all of this. So let's get started. So right away you're going to find where you're going to put this gauge and I'm going to mount mine right there so I'm going to take this whole panel so I can work on it better. Alright, so this is where I want to have mine right there so I am going to drill two holes and use these two little screws that came in. I don't know how long they'll last but I'll take my chance. So, these are the schematics, and this is the oil pressure sensor. And right here you have green, and you have a working ground that you would attach to this. And the green is the green cable that comes into the gauge. And right here if you see green, it comes from the gauge to the sensor. And then if you see yellow, it's a 12 volt constant source and red is the same thing so what I would do for the yellow and the red is put them together and the, for the black it's just the ground and the orange it's for the headlights so if you want it to be lit up at all times don't connect that one to the headlights but I am going to do that I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video or not but so let's get started so it got late um, while I was looking for some cables so I can extend it running down the running down this panel and I made all these extra cables so I can wire it up and for most of them I have them color coded you know black ground red power green signal and this white one is if you want to turn the LED, which I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna tap into the dimmer, and I feel like that's the best idea. And I, I like I like where it's positioned because I can have it leveled down or I can have it like that. But I like it where it is right there, and I can have my more gauges up here if I want to, which I plan to in the future. But for now, that's good. So I'm gonna continue this video tomorrow. And to power up the gauge, I don't want to tap into any of the fuses since I don't have the fuse uh, little device that you use to tap. So I'm just going to use the cigarette lighter and I'm just going to run a wire all through on top of the dash and connect it to that red one. So I got it wired in to the cigarette lighter right there and now it lights up. So right there it's on, so now I need to get the green wire uh, plugged into the sensor. So let's move on to underneath the car. So basically let me explain because you can barely see anything when you get underneath the camera so I'm just going to do um, so this adapter is going to go into when I was editing this video I realized that I really didn't do a good job at explaining how uh, this was going to be connected to the engine so I thought I would take my time and explain it basically where you see that arrow pointing at that little tip would go in place of the old stock oil pressure sensor and then I have a series of the adapters leading up to uh, a T so I can connect both my aftermarket oil pressure sensor for the gauge and my oil pressure sensor for the car's computer. I thought this would uh, clarify and uh, make it a little bit better. The stock oil pressure sensor and what I have here, normally what people do is ignore this T 
and just put this aftermarket one but I want to keep my stock one since I don't want to have the light so I'm gonna put this one right here and this one's gonna be right here and this is gonna be the stock harness and right here is gonna be the green wire and the ground and this is gonna go like this and I'm gonna put a uh, blue monster on all the fittings so no oil leaks or anything and I'm gonna tighten it down so I got everything wired up and I got the negative right here and this cable that I used to get it all down and then inside the car it has power and it's powered up and then I'm gonna show you that it works and then if you want to test out yours that it works make sure you rev the engine and it should change the pressure so that's how you install a glow shift oil pressure gauge If you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Follow us on all social media for future updates. Thank you for watching.